Hello everybody. Today's video is to show you my method of DIY field camoing something. Uh, many of you might have seen our tour van that we've had done in field camo for the last three or four years. Uh, for that I used palm fronds. You want to use, well, let's get into the, the methodology of this before I talk about what type of plants to use. Um, Today, what I'm camoing is uh, an outdoor instrument, a, a microphone that's, that is, uh, you might know it as the traffic sax. And I'm installing this one in upstate New York, and it's right on the border of government property. So we want to camouflage it so that it doesn't get messed with and, and doesn't draw attention to itself from bandits or uh, especially government highway workers. So I'm camoing this. Uh, this plexiglass tube or uh, uh, plumbing, PVC tubing. And uh, I should say, before you paint PVC, this, this video is about just how to do the camo, but since we're here, um, PVC, you need to wipe it down very, very thoroughly with acetone to dull it up. Uh, really give it a, soak that rag in acetone with rubber gloves wipe it everywhere that gets the uh the layer of gloss off that's on all plumbing pvc this is white pvc uh and then after you have acetoned it dust it off and then with some fine grit sandpaper thoroughly sand every surface uh and then dust it off again maybe get for good measure i think i did this you uh, clean it with acetone once again and then you've got a good rough surface that will easily take spray paint so for our field camo job, you need three colors of spray paint. Uh, and uh, they sell cam specialty stuff for camouflage at Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, the thing about camo spray paint is that it's flat. It must be flat to really, really deceive the eye and disappear into the environment. You want a light beige. You want some green. I wish this was lighter green, but this is all they had. And then you want a dark brown. I have done this side and I'm gonna flip it over and show you uh, doing the other side so you can see it in action. But the, the trick of this technique is always base it with your lightest color. And try to get it even, but it's, you know, because you're making a, you know, sort of leafy patterns here, if there's some, if it's not perfectly even, that's okay. What you don't want is drips or, you know, to keep the can a good distance away and just flat it out after you've primed it. Use a primer first, white or black. I used black primer. Um, primed it with a PVC primer, which they also sell at Lowe's. You don't see that here. And then base coat it with the lightest color that you've got. Then you pick your foliage. And this is the most important thing. I'm gonna step around by the camera for this. What you want is foliage from the region that you're trying to camouflage this thing from. Uh, in Louisiana, you would use palm frond. And here in upstate New York, where I'm installing this instrument, I went out in the field and I found what I thought was good plants for doing this. What you want is something, you want two different types. Um, one sort of sticky and branchy, so you can get some branch texture in there and one with big identifiable leaves. And palm fronds in Louisiana, they kind of have both the sticky and the leafy, so I just use palm for our van. But for here, I chose two things. And you want something that's stiff, leaves that have got some substance to them so that they don't wilt when you clip them, and so that they don't turn into little paintbrushes, because what's gonna happen, you're gonna be holding this up to the piece and spraying it, and you don't want those leaves to get heavy with paint, and then they start making a mess on your camo job. Same with this. And you also want something not too bushy so that you can lay this, you're gonna press it right up to the piece. Um, you want it to be sort of flat. That's why I picked this. And for this, and, I, and with the, pol it's, it's good policy, I think, to turn it upside down because that forces, just because the way leaves grow, sort of out from the stalk, it presses them into your piece and you get a better outline if you turn 
your leafy branches upside down and press it to the piece. And you go base coat, light, and then take your biggest plant first. Then you go with the darkest paint you've got second. And then you go back over it with the smaller branchy twig one, filling in the gaps that you've left for yourself to do that lighter green on top of that. So you're not doing everything on top of each other. You're doing this first one and kind of leaving gaps and spaces so that you can then come back in with the green and then it really looks like things growing over each other. And um, I'm gonna give you a close up when I'm done to show you how it looks in the final product. But um, always shake your spray paint up. very well. I say my ABCs twice. Um, but this one's been pretty pretty shook up for me doing this side. So this is dry enough that I can flip it and I put some little screws to hold it up because it's round. So now we're going with the dark brown first upside down and I'm just going to kind of stand on one side of it. And you, you've got to be really sparing with this and do it fast. Don't fuss over it or it'll start looking weird. So, and you want to press those leaves right to it. And kind of shift them in different directions. So it looks like the leaves aren't all growing from the same direction. I'm going to leave myself a big space for green there. step over to this side. Actually, no, that's pretty good. It's time for green. Okay. So we're going to shake up, shake up our green. And for this one, actually, I'm going to do one more, one more leaf. Good one, right there. So green, up and you really want to be sparing so you leave a lot of this light color out there and this one's kind of bushy so it blocks a lot of the paint give us some branches there that's a little thick actually You can aim it just, you're just making a silhouette. And be real light handed with those puffs. I was a little heavy over there. Light puff. Texture here, you can back it away so it's a little lighter. Little branch. And I think we're looking okay. You don't want, see, I did a bad job there. You, I was a little too close. getting excited. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, once you, it's all about prep work. But once you get it up and going, it goes fast. I did our van probably in an hour. Um, 
but the all of the the two days of prep was really what it was all about so then The New York State Highway Department. We'll never know. And I'm leaving this one kind of, kind of bay, a more on the beige side because behind this there's a lot, there's fields of uh, very light colored grass. Anyways, there you go, uh, DIY field camo. And I'm sure that there's a lot of you out there that have done this more and have your own techniques. Uh, but this is mine. All right. Bye-bye.